Now these gold straighteners I absolutely love. There's nothing to control the heat on these. Um, they do get quite hot, so don't touch those. I mean, the way that GHD make theirs, I'm just going to turn this off. But the way GHD make their straighteners, and I think this is with all of their straighteners, is they have a groove just there. And they call that the thumb groove. And it's just basically your thumb should not go past that because anything past that is quite hot to touch. So it's just to basically protect you and your hands. I let my straighteners just kind of sit there. They take about five minutes to cool down, which considering how long they were on for, they I mean, they weren't on for that long, but even 10 minutes is still quite a bit of time. So, or like 20 minutes or 15 minutes or however long it takes you to straighten your hair. That is still quite a bit of time. They do get quite hot. So considering it takes only like five to 10 minutes for my straighteners to cool down, um, that's a win for me as well. I have to say this carry case and roll up heat mat they are very convenient for me as well just because if i do go to like my cousin's house say there's a function and i've got family that live in islington i've got family that live in cambridge i've got family that live in pinna so you know we're kind of scattered all over the place it does make my life a lot easier just to kind of take this with me and i don't need to stress that oh i haven't got a heat mat um or anything like that i mean everything's all in one it makes it a lot easier to pack my straighteners away when we're going on holiday as well we're going to be going on holiday in january so when i pack my straighteners into the suitcase it's just going to make my life easier i know exactly how much space i need to leave in the suitcase for the straighteners to fit in it leaves your hair feeling very nice silky smooth you can create different looks with it i think that's the whole reason why ghd market their um, straighteners as stylers because it just doesn't straighten it curls as well i mean that piece that i curled at the beginning just completely straight it's gone you can't tell that there was a curl in there and i think i i'm just looking in the mirror to see if there's any kinks and i i can't find one and i absolutely love that about the ghds because I have tried other straighteners, not just Remington's. I've tried like my cousin's straighteners as well. I've, um, I think someone's got fabulous straighteners. Everyone's got different makes of straighteners and I have tried other straighteners and I found that when you put a curl in your hair with straighteners and you try and take it out after, it takes a lot of effort to get rid of every single kink. So I think I love that about the GHDs. It gets rid of the kinks. I'm not sitting there for ages. So I've basically had to move because um, my phone died they're, they've cooled down now so the other thing is obviously like i've put my hair in a clip so if that does end up giving it a kink later on when i take it out or when i put my hair in a bun and i go to sleep and say tomorrow for some reason i want to have my hair out it's okay because you know turn the ghds back on 25 seconds if that and they're heated up 25 seconds they're heated up and i can just go back to getting the kinks out and taking the kinks out literally takes like a minute or two and i'm good to go wherever i want to go so the way that the ghd mac comes is it's got two pop buttons and the other end of it is attached to the actual carry case so i can either take just the carry case with me or i can take just the heat mat with me or i can take both so i normally keep both together i just they've popped in roll 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 i'm pretty sure this bit's magnetic because it just kind of closes down and it stays down but yeah that is the carry case so you can have it as just the carry case just the mat or both together if you wanted to i personally prefer having both together just because it makes my life easier so i've found like a couple of bad reviews about the ghds like these exact ones that i've got so my um styler is called the ghd gold professional styler um there are like i'm just having a quick look at the amazon reviews because it was like the first thing that came up 
And if I click on the one star reviews, it was a complete waste of time and it was a cheap quality straightener was one of the reviews. Completely disagree with that. Um, like I said, like I find them quite sleek. They're not cheap at all when you hold them, when you feel them, when you're using them, you can feel the difference. And I have used a cheap pair of straighteners. There used to be a store. That's it, Comet. And I remember when Comet was going out of business and we went there and we picked up a couple of things. And one of the things that me and um, my mum and my dad bought was a pair of hair straighteners. And I think Twilight was pretty new back then and I'd read the books. I hadn't, um, well, I have seen the movies, but I'd read the books and I was a fan of the books, wasn't a fan of the movies. And my mum bought me these Twilight edition hair straighteners. Those straighteners are trash. I used them for a couple of years because my Remingtons were just taking forever. They were quicker than my Remingtons, but they were trash. Because this part of the straightener, just here, where the ceramic plate actually sits, there's like a little gap for you to fit, well, for whoever makes them, to fit the ceramic plate in. What was happening with the Twilight straighteners that I was using, my hair would get caught in that little gap and break so i'd like be straightening my hair and it'd be broken and i'd look and there'd be like so many strands of broken hair just like hanging out of the side and it was really frustrating because i was trying to grow my hair and it was just breaking my hair it was damaging it it was just really 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 bad but because comet was shutting down and they only cost me a couple of quid and they were quicker to use than my remingtons I just kind of went with it and that is the real reason why when I mentioned to my husband that I wanted GHDs he just went out and bought them well he didn't go out because he doesn't really go out much he prefers online shopping so he just went online and he bought them he didn't even wait to like to see which ones I wanted or anything like that he picked these out and I think he's done a great job of picking these out I find that not only are they really quick, um, they're very comfortable to hold in your hand. So the other thing that I was finding is like the other straighteners were opening a bit too much. And when they're opening a bit too much, like your thumb's bending backwards, and you find over time your thumb kind of locks. And when you finish straightening your hair, because it's taken so long, like your thumb is killing you. And these are like little things that people don't really think about when they're using hair straighteners um, or when they're styling their hair. Your hands and your arms need to be in comfortable positions. If your arms are up like this for ages, trying to straighten whatever part of your hair, you're just messing your shoulders up. You're giving yourself health problems that don't need to be there. That's why it's really important to have straighteners like GHDs. I mean, I can actually read you guys my official review that I've put on the GHD website. Since GHDs came out, I've always wanted a pair. My mom and dad got me my first pair of straighteners, which were Remingtons. They're like 12 years old at this point, um, but they still work. Of course, they're old, so they don't work as well as they used to when I first got them. My husband bought these for them, um, for them. These, my husband bought my GHDs for me, and I am in love. It takes me about 10 minutes to straighten my hair instead of 40 minutes. It does genuinely take me 10 minutes to straighten my hair. The only reason why it takes a little bit longer than 10 minutes when I'm doing it is because I just get mesmerized by how quick it is. So I just sit there straightening a straight piece of hair for like another five minutes for no reason. I mean, I've explained in there that I have long hair, it's thick. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for me to straighten my husband's hair instead of an hour, hour and 20. Like I said, I'm gonna link that video in to um, what his hair type is. I mean, his hair is thick. Actually, do you know what? Let me get him in, babe. Let me show them your hair. His hair is thick, okay? We can do a lot with his hair, like we can cut it and turn it into a rope. My husband's seek, so he can't cut his hair. But, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, like his hair texture is very rough. The flicks at the bottom kind of give away um, that his hair is naturally curly. His hair is naturally really, really, really curly. And although it's, I mean, look here, you can see this little, piece of hair growing you can see how curly that is so this is literally how curly 
his hair normally is i mean he has beautiful curls in his hair and his hair is so thick and so lovely but it is also very coarse unfortunately it's not quite afro but it is very close to afro hair i mean the best that i could describe his hair yeah is to um tamil or south indian hair their hair is very curly and it's like coarse and thick it's not afro but it's just before afro um and that's literally what his hair's like i mean this normally takes me an hour an hour and a half maybe more to straighten with the ghds i'm done in 20 minutes and we're good to go and his hair will be flat straight like amazing we are obviously gonna play more games so that i can win the bet and i can straighten his hair on camera and i can show you guys but um, if, if you guys when you guys see the difference you will realize how amazing my ghds are will you let me straighten like one strand of your hair just for the purposes of the video i'm literally gonna take like just a small strand of his hair just to kind of show you guys his hair is like completely different to my hair as you can tell my hair by two uh, kind of swipes with the straightener it would have been straight i have to do four with his hair but even then like that is so quick for his hair and you can just see the difference of texture I'm gonna turn the straighteners off now but you can just sort of see like the difference well i hope you can see the difference look it's safe to say i'm in love with the ghds and i recommend my ghd gold professional styler to anybody who's looking to get um, a new hair straightener and they work with different types of hair or it could be the fact that they have my husband's hair or my hair. Basically, I recommend these straighteners to everybody. Um, that's all I can say for them. I've shown you how good they are on his hair, how good they are on my hair. I'm really grateful that my husband actually splurged and got them for me because like I said, like GHDs don't come cheap. Even when they're on sale, they're not cheap. There are obviously like other straighteners out there that you can get for a lot less. They're on sale right now, so they're, 118 pounds and 15 pence at the moment originally they're 140 quid even when they're on sale like they're not that cheap i am the type of person who if i could get a pair of straighteners for 20 quid i don't see the point of getting a pair of straighteners for 139 pounds i really don't but where you know gurpreet gifted these to me i do really appreciate them and i can see the reasoning behind buying them for so much money um for me they are definitely worth the money considering we didn't get them for 139 we did get them with a discount we had um, a discount code to use but i mean even for those who don't have discount codes to use just head over to the website it's 15 percent off right now so head over to the shop it's free delivery the delivery was really quick actually wasn't it we got it with yeah we got it the next day if you've got that kind of money and you can afford it i would suggest you know suggest to um for you to go and get it if you don't please don't feel like you're missing out on anything um i didn't have ghds for the longest time and i wanted them from the day they came out and they came out in the year 2000 so it's taken me 18 years to get my first pair and even then i didn't buy my first pair for myself maybe save up and get your hands on them you know find another way around it if you guys want to see anything similar or if you guys want to see me curl my whole um head with these ghds or if you want to know anything more about the ghds drop your questions down below in the comment section leave your suggestions down there as well you know that's your platform to get involved in the conversation i want to hear what you guys have to say if you guys have these ghds don't have these ghds um i want to hear what you've got 
say, got to say about whatever it is that you're using to curl or straighten your hair. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't, whichever way it lets me know what my viewers like and what they don't like. And obviously, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and share it out. Like I said in my first video, the aim of the game is to help as many people as possible, even if it comes down to helping just one person. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to help anyone or not until this gets shared out as much as possible and enough people are viewing it and someone actually says, you helped me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video.